1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, all the way added up to the nth term times 2 minus 1 squared, is equal to 1 thirds n times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. Well, our first step is to see what happens when n equals 1. When n equals 1, we have 1 squared is equal to 1 thirds times 2n minus 1 is just 1, and 2n plus 1 is just 3. So we have 1 is equal to 1. And as we can see, this equation is true. So when, when n is equal to 1, the formula holds true. If we know that n equals 1 is true, then we have to assume that when n is equal to any integer, so when n is equal to k, this formula, 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, all the way added up to the kth term times 2 minus 1 squared is equal to 1 thirds, let me zoom out a little bit, k, 2k minus 1, 2k plus 1. So we're going to assume that when n is equal to k, this formula is true. Then our next step in using mathematical induction is to say what happens when n is equal to k plus 1. If when n is equal to k plus 1 and this formula is still true for when n equals k plus 1, then it means that this formula is true for any value of n. So we'll go ahead and let's rewrite this equation using writing it in terms of k plus 1. Basically, whenever we see a n, we just replace it with k plus 1. So in this last term, we have 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 squared is equal to 1 thirds k plus 1 times 2 k plus 1 minus 1 times 2 k plus 1 plus 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify. So on the left side, we have 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared added up to, the last term is 2 times k plus 1 minus 1, which means that the second term must be 2k minus 1 squared. And let's go ahead and still write on the last one. And when we continue to look at the left side of the equation, we see that this front part is identical to this front part, which means we can rewrite this green highlighted part as 1 thirds k times 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1. And remember, we're just building off of our assumption for now. Plus the last term, which is 2k plus 1 squared is equal to, on the right side, we have 1 thirds times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 3. And when we continue to look on the left side of the equation, we see we can, all we have to do is just continue to simplify. So we have 2k plus 1, 2k minus 1. Same thing as 4k squared minus 1 squared, which is just 1, times 1 thirds k plus we can use the perfect square formula for the 2k plus 1. So it's 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. Continue to simplify. We have 4 thirds k cubed minus 1 thirds k plus 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And when we continue to simplify, we have 4 thirds k cubed plus 4k squared and we can combine like terms. 
So we get 11 over 3k plus 1. So the left side of the equation is completely done. We're left with this polynomial. Now what about the right side? We have 1 thirds times 2k squared plus 2k plus k plus 1 times the 2k plus 3. And we can continue to use the distributive property. 1 thirds is equal to this middle 2 can just be combined to be 3k. So then it turns into 1 thirds times 4k cubed plus 6k squared plus 2k plus 6k squared plus 9k plus 3. We can go ahead and combine some like terms. This gives us 1 thirds times 4k cubed plus 12k squared plus 11k plus 3. Now we're going to use the distributive property. We have 4 thirds k cubed plus 4k squared plus 11 over 3k plus 1. That was a lot of calculating, so be sure to not make any mistakes. Now when we compare both sides of this, of this equation, we see that they are equal. Which means that when we go back to what we started with, which is this red equation over here, it means that it was equal. So the formula holds true when n is equal to k plus 1. And it also holds true when n is equal to k, which means that we have proven that this formula is true for any value of n. And if we pause the video to think about why this is true, why the mathematical induction works, this is saying, okay, if n is equal to 1, this will hold true. And because we have proved that n is equal to when n is equal to k plus 1, this is also true, it means that the next term from 1, 2, will also be true. And if 2 is true, its next term, 3, when n is equal to 3, it will also be true. So then when, it, when n is equal to 4, 5, 6, all of the following terms for n, this formula will be true. So we've basically just knocked down a line of dominoes, and this line of dominoes will go on forever.